Alrighty, so I wanted to try out Tyr with a full Unknown team, and then for the next video we'll probably try him out with a full Ragnarok team. So, obviously we're doing the uh, Unknown team today. Uh, one thing I don't like about the Unknown team is that the characters are a little bit more exclusive, like most of the time they end up being uh, either festival units or whatever the case may be, so it's, it's just a bunch of units that uh, people might not have the most access to. I've heard that uh, the Unknown team is really good, so we're going to be going for this sort of split DPS sort of team, because if, if we can use Tier to get rid of like the main threat, and then we can use Ghislaine to sort of help take things over once they inevitably try to kill him off. So, uh, we'll just try to see how that goes a little bit. Um, he did put Mark of Concentration on me, which might be a little bit of an issue. Luckily, we have Stance Cancel here, which is great, because that means I can... Um, I'm going to go for the first turn, because I really want to try to get rid of Deanne if possible, and if I can get her stance out of the way, that would be fantastic. Did I not target Deanne there? I don't think I did, I guess. That's, <laughs> that's a bit unfortunate. Okay, he didn't do the craziest damage there. We were... The Mark of Concentration does lower our crit chance by 100%, so um, not the greatest, which we didn't crit Melly either, which I guess is good. <laughs> um... He has another stance, and it's a level 2. That's very unfortunate for me, actually. Um, This is, like, the biggest threat. Like, this team right here is going to be the biggest issue when it comes to tier, to be honest with you. So, um, let's try to maybe throw on an Infect. Unfortunately, that's probably going to probably gonna end up critting melee here but i really can't do a whole lot if i if i stall too long like it doesn't do me much good so infect a little bit of damage off here on the dn 51k is not terrible but what do we got only 136 actually that was not as good as i was hoping for maybe i need to just swap galane out for rom instead because if I guess if we pour all of our support into tier, we could potentially be a little bit better off that way. Um, Las Vegas is absolutely going to destroy me here, which is unfortunate, but <laughs> well, I, I can't really do anything about that. I think I'm going to go for more support on on tier instead. That way I can, I don't know, hopefully do big damage, but I do not have any more. I'm, I'm not pulling stance cancels, which is very bad for me. Uh, let's go for this, maybe. Uh, I guess I could technically... I mean, I've already ranked up Lost Fane at this point, so I could try this. And then I highly doubt I get through to her. We, or to, uh, to Lost Fane here. Um, like, I, d I doubt we can kill him with this, so we're just going to use the level 3 card here. I, it, it's a sever, so he's already got gold cards in hand, so it's not really going to make the biggest difference to me. Here we go. Uh, level 2 Pierce card. Boom. Not quite a kill. That's unfortunate. Luckily, we kill her here. We don't get ourselves disabled. And then we have... <laughs> we don't kill her. Good game. <laughs> We're moving on. Uh, let me swap for Rom, I guess. We'll try to go for more support on Tier, because uh, that was a, a little bit of a yike, to be honest. I mean, maybe that was just a bad scenario, because honestly, having the stance cancel and everything is good, and Ghislaine is a good character, but I don't know. Alrighty, okay, we have another Lost Fame team. Very normal, to be honest. Um... I can only assume he's using evasion food, if I had to guess. So maybe we... This is a very bizarre team. He's going for, like, big ult control here, or, like, ult like damage here. Um, I don't know if he's going to have evasion food on or not. I think it's... Actually, I think it is... Um... Whatchamacallit? Uh... Ult gauge food, because he's got so much ult, yeah. So we, unfortunately, we do rank him up a little bit, which is bad for us. But we get through... Ooh, we're going to rank him up again here. Okay, that actually might be manageable. He, he can only use two cards. I, I highly, 
highly doubt his back unit has a taunt because it's Merlin. Uh, and we get extra weak point skills, so we should be in the clear here. I don't know whether or not he's using Tarmia Link on. <laughs> Take that. Um, I don't. I don't think he's using Tarmia Link on his melee. Which then again, I didn't really pay the most attention there. Yeah, that was. <laughs> it's dude. It's. I'm telling you, man. It's either like a big win or a big loss. Like I. It, it, there's basically no in between with this character. Okay, we have an unknown team actually. Surprisingly, uh, I really haven't fought in too, or fought too many unknown teams in a while. Hmm. Really nice first turn setup. And we are targeted. Mm, I'm not 100% sold that we're going to be able to get through this. Because Ghislaine is pretty tanky. But then again, I said that in the last video. And, uh... Okay, yeah. She's she's tanking that pretty well. So I'm going to end up disabling my tier here. But hopefully we can kill off the side units. Mm, not quite. Okay. Pretty tanky. Um, We are disabled. We could go for the ultimate pretty easily i i guess um taking off the evasion food there uh not too bad we can maybe use a skill to try and life steal back some we are taunted here so he can't really go for anybody else uh let's go for this this and then do we go single target or weak point? I think we go weak point. Just so that way we can try to do more damage overall and maybe get more HP back. I actually don't know what his lifesteal stat is. I probably should have checked that, but it'll be all right. And bam, still does pretty good damage. Obviously, Rom was insanely low there, so we were going to kill her pretty much regardless. But we do get the ultimate. This might be the first... Yeah, I think this is the first time I'm getting the ultimate in a match. So, uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. I do have him 3-6, so I, got, I have that going on. My, um, my camera is obviously in the way, but his ultimate is increases allies' attack-related stat by, or, yeah, stats by 15% for two turns and inflicts sever damage equal to 420% of attack on all enemies. So, he's very crit-based, of course. Um, don't think we should have too many issues here. So let's ult so we don't actually remove our ultimate movie gauge because that would be fantastic. Uh, I've definitely not done that before. Maybe. Uh, dog is coughing. Sorry. You heard that. Ultimate. 1.1 million damage. Easy peasy, I guess. <laughs> that, that, that was a tankier team. Okay. So it, at least I had that going for me. That wasn't like just a complete like run them over kind of situation like I'm sort of kind of used to it was still kind of middle of the road so I'm interested in seeing maybe more of that alrighty we have another meta team I I have to say I really hate this team I think it's so corny I think it's so lame <laughs> like realistically I get it like I understand like Lost Vane is the new hotness right now everybody wants to use Lost Vane because you know it took a month to get him but boy, oh boy, am I already sick of this team. <laughs> so I guess we'll go for the Infect. I don't have the stance canceled this time, so... Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to end up disabling myself if I do it like that, though. Um, let's go for this. We'll merge a little bit. And then... We can try and see if we can get a stance cancel, like a stun, because that would be really, really helpful. Depending on my card, or like my merges here, or like card draw, uh, not really what I wanted to see. After after, <laughs> after that gold sever card in that first game, I'm not not super happy with uh, with the with the cards here. Maybe he kills her actually. He does not. Uh, single target with Melly. He does, okay. Level 2. Not enough. Uh, Nanashi and stats from Rom are too much for the man. Uh, I'm going to end up ranking him up again, unfortunately. But mm, I could go for ultimate here. I think I do. I think I go for the ultimate here. Like, I, norm I hate playing for ultimates realistically, but on a team like this, I really don't stand a chance. Unless I'm, like, pushing big damage. 
So he's going to have to have like a bond combo, and then I do have to Nanashi buff on, so I should be able to get this off. Probably no issue. Because I, he's, he's, yeah, he's pretty single targeted. Like this, this could potentially be an infect AOE, which I guess there's a pretty good chance it is. Okay, it's a single target. Kills off the Echidna. That's fair. He's going to have to kill me with two cards here. Oh, he takes off the old gauge. I completely forgot that she has that. That's, uh, <laughs> that's my bad. Okay. Going for the double there, I guess. Um, and now I'm in a real bad spot. Let's go for this, this, and I I can't do anything else other than this. So, decent damage there, actually, because of the buffs. Rupture, doing its work. I, I'm, I'm pretty confident this is going to kill. Okay. Well, I should not have been confident that was going to kill. We literally lose. Um, good game much skill involved <laughs> i don't know it's just so hard to get through this team it's it's ridiculous it's literally just hey let me use loss of what's his ultimate i'm like mega complaining and then i i survive it which is kind of funny okay lowers my crit chance here which is actually kind of a problem because he's a really big crit based unit but i get triple triple crit chance from the card so What's his ultimate? I'm I'm super curious. That's six six, is it not? It's like the crystal's missing for some reason. <laughs> it literally doesn't want me to know what level that ultimate is. Um. Okay. I think we win. Okay, we don't kill Lost Vein. and we do rank up his card. Hmm, maybe, ah, maybe the single target would have been better there, but then again, I was expecting a full wipe. A little bit over uh, overzealous on my part there. Uh, ooh, we can delete his cards, which would be kind of cool. Problem is, is his lifesteal. If that's an AoE infect, could be a bit of an issue. Yeah, mm, okay. I mean, that's not the worst. Him lowering our HP and us not being able to Tarmia link it back is technically a good thing. So let me do this and then delete the cards that we crit, rank up, unless we kill. We do. Okay. Works for me. Oh, it's all, <laughs> it's all Escador cards. He did half HP with that or am I, am I wrong on that? Did he, did he already have some damage taken to him? That seemed like a lot of damage from just a Nanashi card there. Okay. He does kill off my Nanashi, which is going to make me a lot less tanky, but... Ooh, it's a two-turn infect, too. Um, it might be a real toss-up on me actually being able to win this one. Ooh, we don't kill that turn, either. Uh, well, the ultimate... I might be in a decent spot here. Tank? Okay. Let me look at my lifesteal stat really quick. Because out of curiosity, if I can lifesteal enough back... Lifesteal is, ooh, 16%'s not the highest, but maybe if we deal a whole bunch of damage, he is only 1-6, so we kill here, he goes into Final Flame, he has one stack, and as long as I get ooh, about half HP, I don't know if we're going to be able to tank that or not, because I assume the level 2 here, oh, he went for single target, ah, uh, no, that was so close. Good on him. Good game to him. Ooh, okay. Angel team, and he's using green Ludo, which is very bizarre. Um, I guess that technically could have been blue Ludo before it log or went in, but using Light Liz with the blue or with the green Ludo because he has the shield is pretty interesting. We have a stun, which is kind of nice. He's going to throw up the shield, which could maybe be an issue here. Um, I can't remember. Is his other card a pierce card, I think? I want to say it is. Okay, we evade that. What's his other card? Okay. Get a little bit of damage out on me is fine. Um, 
I genuinely don't know if I can get through the shield with any of these like single cards. So I think what we're going to do is throw this, throw this, and then the weak point maybe? Because if I can break through the shield, the weak point should deal some okay damage. Plus I'll be able to infect here. That actually did almost get through it. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I used the infect second. What's this going to do? Okay, deleted Ludo. Half damage on the Liz. A little more than half uh, HP left on the Mayel here. So we're in a pretty good spot. We merge straight into a stun, which is good. We could technically just stun both of these characters. Um, which honestly, I mean, I got it. I might as well, right? Maybe? Um... Does he have the Relic on, actually? I can't tell. I'm going to inspect him because if he does have Relic on, he's going to proc the heal on his third card here. And it will remove the Infect. So I can only assume that's the reason why he's using Green Ludo in this scenario. I really don't know why else he would, maybe. Um, this is going to lower our damage output a little bit, which could be a little troublesome. Not enough to kill Rom off, which is good for me. Uh, he does not have the relic, so I don't know. Very weird, very very weird to see the. Um... <laughs> very bizarre to see the what you call it without the relic. Like, why would you use Green Ludo? I guess Green Ludo is just kind of. I, I don't want to say he's like inherently bad, but. He's definitely not what I would call good, um, you know. Decent damage there. Only 77k, actually. But luckily, we sh pretty much shut him down completely here. Um, he might end up forfeiting on that. I know that I probably would. We do have a weak point. We have a Rom's ultimate. Yeah, that's fair enough. I, I kind of screwed him there, so. Very interesting. Um, I have to say, I think I like the Gother rank up more than this so far like it does give him really good support and he gets a lot of stats and everything but i don't know <laughs> i'm not super sold on it if i'm being completely honest i uh i i'm interested to use the ragnarok team because i think it's going to be like ultra aggressive and we may end up going for like cc food or something for that so i'm i'm definitely interested to see how that goes out it should be later on today that it comes out so if you want to come back and check that out, you definitely can. But uh, let me know your thoughts on maybe running in with the Unknown team. If you already have or, you know, I don't know, just personal opinions on it, I guess. Let me know what you think. But uh, that's pretty much it from me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.